Boxing forces you to confront your problems head on. You cannot avoid them. If you're in the ring, it's just you. You're the only person who's gonna defend yourself. You're the only person that you can rely on. So you need to find that inner strength and emotional resilience to fight back. My year nine teacher first kind of introduced in a big way climate change. I got really angry about it, even at 13. By 16, I was often to be seen handing out leaflets on the school drive and that kind of thing, like full on, full on campaign nutter. Activism is one thing, but it can be easy to get despondent and disheartened if you're constantly demanding change and nothing's happening. So I got into research because I thought that that was a way of maximizing my impact. We're down in Rotherham, Antarctica, and we're about to go flying in Massive. It was, I think, probably the best thing I've ever done. I'm trying to untangle the causes of melting on a specific ice shelf. I mean, it's extreme. I like extreme things. So <laughs> going to the end of the world is pretty much the most extreme place you could go to. But actually, I came back with a greater understanding of what it's like and what that actually means in real life. And I'm looking at numbers and figures and the actual kind of raw outputs of science. Academia can sometimes be very insular and I hate to say it, an all boys club where everyone is congratulating themselves on having published another excellent paper, well done. But it's not doing anything. What's the point in doing research if you're not going to share it in a way that everybody can understand? Welcome to the third edition of What Earth. I know that water freezes at zero degrees Celsius, right? Rob. Ella, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. So I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about Antarctica and all the science that we can do. With the help of these little seeds, those water droplets can grow. And in the Alps, they're known as fern, which means hair dryer. If you know there's a problem, and I think loads of people know climate change is a problem, you can have a few responses. You can feel scared, you can feel angry, you can feel disheartened, you can not care. But you have to be optimistic. I've learned more from my losses in the ring than I have from any of the wins. And it's keeping going despite losing. That means you make a difference. More and more of us are actually making changes and trying to work towards solutions to the problem. And I think communicating research helps people do that. It gives people the tools to decide what they're gonna do. Because learning about the problem is the first step, but what we do from that first step is what matters. <laughs>